ladies, I seriously have the hardest time getting into committed, monogamous, long-term relationships, AKA marriage. No matter how many men pass through my roster or even stay on my roster, I just can't bring myself to marry any one of them. And it's because I have worked so hard on my body, my mind, my spirit, my money, every single thing about me I've worked so hard on. I cannot get married to somebody who doesn't have his money completely right. I can't get married to somebody who doesn't have his body and his nutrition right. I can't get married to somebody who doesn't have his mind right. He needs to be doing better than me for it to be worth it or I will be jeopardizing all the hard work I have put into myself. Once you are leveling up and you've gotten to a certain point of the level up, you will notice you will stop giving yourself away for free. You will stop giving yourself away to these men for cheap. Why? Because you'll start to see yourself as super valuable, super valuable. The more work you put into your mind, your body, your spirit, your finances, your education, all of the all of the things that are important to you in this life, the more you work on those things, the more you level up all of those things, the less you're going to want other people touching your stuff with their grubby freaking no good paws. Okay? You're not going to want him up in your body. You're not going to want him up taking up your mental space. You're not going to want him around eating bad food in front of you. When you put months or years into your nutrition and breaking your food addictions and not eating all that processed crap, and then he comes around and he wants to eat that crap in front of you or try to take you out to eat some with him, you're, you're just not gonna like that. It's gonna become very difficult for you to give your time, your life, your body to people that are not on your level, okay? And I do understand sometimes a man, you may meet a great guy who is very empowered in all areas of his life, but maybe there's one area he's not doing well at. That could still work as long as the areas he is empowered in is like, he's got a lot. Like for instance, right? You may meet a guy that everything about him is great. He's empowered in all areas of his life, but he's significantly overweight, okay? You could compromise and say, okay, I will marry this guy, but it's because in his mental department, he has excelled so incredibly far. And in the money department, he has excelled incredibly far. So now that makes up for him being significantly overweight, okay? You have to weigh it out and see. This is how you know it's okay to go ahead and marry somebody, okay? You want somebody who's actually doing better than you, preferably, or the same as you, okay? And I'm not trying to say that he needs to make the same amount of money as you make and you guys are gonna split bills. That's not what I'm saying. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you will notice Hey, if you are struggling with constantly having relationships where you keep finding yourself over giving, sleeping with them too soon and giving them too much, you end up being the doormat, you walk away from the relationship eventually where you feel like you've been used and abused and not appreciated and you didn't get what you wanted out of the relationship, that you constantly waste your time in relationships. This is feedback to you that you have not leveled up every area of your life the way you needed to because naturally as you are leveling up, you will start to see what your value is and then when these buyers come to the table trying to buy you, trying to have you, trying to have your body, your life, your future, your time, they want to mingle with you like they want 
to be up in your space, in your mind, like breathing the same air. They want to do life with you. They want to legally tie themselves to you. Okay? You're going to feel very dissatisfied and you're going to be super picky. You're going to become very picky and say, I can't marry a man that yes, you know, he may be making good money, but I see that he's also in debt at the same time. He's got a lot of debt. He's not financially organized. He's got some screws loose in that department and I have an amazing credit score and I don't have lots of debt. Why would I marry somebody with those kind of poor habits and bad tendencies that's going to affect my life now? No, I worked too damn hard for too many years to level up myself in the financial department. I'm not going to let him come into my life and taint it because that's what happens when you get married, okay? You guys become one, okay? And that can happen in any area of life. If he's not psychologically sound and let's say he's got a dark and negative type personality or he's sarcastic all the time or he's an ungrateful type of person he's you know he's always looking at the negative he doesn't have a balanced thinking and let's say you've worked very hard you've been to therapy you've had coaches you've done a bunch of programs you've done your inner work and you get together with him that negativity is going to go on to you and it's going to unravel all the work you've done on yourself. And the more work you put into yourself, the more you're going to realize this before you get into a wrong relationship. Okay, You're going to say, wow, I have spent years on my psychology. I've spent years getting myself out of debt and improving, and improving my credit score. I've spent years in the gym. I've spent years getting over food addiction and training myself how to actually eat healthy. I've spent years doing all these things. I've spent years in school. I've just spent so much time and so much money on me. I just can't be with somebody who's not good enough for me. So this will naturally happen. If you are struggling now finding yourself in these lower quality relationships, this is feedback to you that you haven't leveled yourself up enough because once you have you will start seeing yourself being extremely picky it's a natural thing that will happen you're not gonna want to sell yourself for cheap or for free you're not gonna be comfortable with it anymore if you have not been putting the actual work into yourself in all areas of life that you should be doing you're gonna notice that Okay, and this will just be subconscious. You won't know that that's why you're doing this. You'll find yourself in low end relationships with men that don't do enough for you, that you know, that are neglectful of you, that have financial problems, that have you know, health problems, that have problems with you know, their, their baby mamas or with their parents. Like, you're gonna find yourself in a subconscious way, feeling like those people are a match for you. And why is that? Because deep down inside, you know you haven't done the work on yourself, that you're still on that lower kind of level. And you know it. There's more work you need to do on you. Okay? So, Take that into consideration. I want you all to live your sweetest life possible. And if you are having these kind of lower quality relationships and you keep and giving yourself away for free and giving yourself away for cheap, this is clear feedback to you. You need to go back to the drawing board. You need to look at every area of your life and see where you are empowered and where you are disempowered. If there are areas of your life that need tuning up, maybe there are some areas of your life that you do absolutely nothing in, okay? There are a lot of people that don't ever get mental help. They just try to figure it all out in their own mind, all by themselves, and that rarely or never actually works. There are people who have never gone to the gym one day in their life. There are people who have eaten processed food every single day of their life and, and have never even tried not to. 
There are people who have never written out a monthly budget. They just get paid and they spend it and they don't know where their money goes and they're always in debt. There are people that are, that are completely disempowered in those areas of their life. No wonder they keep having relationships with people that are really not up to par, okay? They're getting people who are like them. If you wanna attract better men into your life, you need to become better, which means you need to go out and you need to do the work on yourself and not just the way you look, all the areas of your life, okay? Talk to you later, bye for now.